Well, finding the perfect piece for your home is only a click away. Property from CK, CK McClatchy's estate is being auctioned off. Uh, Lori's in Sacramento with more. Hello, Lori Wallace. I'm nosy. I want to see. Hey there. Good morning. Right? Okay, so you guys asked me last hour to do you a lot of favors, okay? A lot. It is my turn now to ask for the favors. Okay. I need one or all of you to text my husband and tell him I'm ready for a little upgrade, okay? Oh. I'm ready for an upgrade, and yeah, I got it on my finger mama. right now. <laughs> yeah, just in case you were wondering, it's this one. Dear it's Mr. this one. Lord. Here you go, Brian. I'll give it back so I don't try Dear to run Mr. off with Lord. it. Uh, we're here to talk about a really cool uh, inside peek here at CK McClatchy's estate. Why don't you start, Brian, by just giving us a little bit of the history on the McClatchy family here in Sacramento? Sure, they're very uh, instrumental in the development of Sacramento. They arrived, uh, the first McClatchy arrived during the gold rush. He was a reporter from New York. Later, bought what is now the Sacramento Bee. And for five successive generations, the McClatchy's have run the paper. One of the main things was his aunt, who was the editor before C.K. McClatchy, was a very um, prominent book collector. And the best part of the McClatchy collection is this early books um, about the history of California. So since 1987, the estate has been left alone, and now we're getting a sneak peek at some of the items from inside. This caught my eye right away. I have actually never seen in person a gold bar. Any guesses from in the studio how much this might be worth? In the palm of my hand right now. Ooh, ooh. Gold how is many? High does it say right how many? Now. It's one kilo. Oh, that's. Hmm. That's, I'm, I'm going to go with one dollar. I'm going to say, Brian, I'm going to let you break it yeah. to him. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Sixty-four thousand dollars, oh. right here Ooh. in my wow. hand. And that's the kind of cool stuff you see when you when you come in here and get a look around. There are some unique pieces that you may not see anywhere else. What do we have right here? This is one of the great books that came out of the McClatchy collection, and most of it is focused on the gold rush. So this is, you know, right around the gold rush when photography is not very prominent. Here's this artist that's actually making art books. Um, they're all one of a kind, and they document the pictorial history of the state. Okay. It's about ten to twenty thousand dollars. All right, so I'm going to follow you to the back here. I'm going to let you lead the way, Brian, to some of this furniture and some of these other sure. pieces in yeah. the back. I just want to pass. This is one great painting. This is from Grace Hudson, who was an early California artist who documented That's the Pomo beautiful. tribe up in Northern California. And how much is that painting? That's about twenty-five to fifty thousand. That's all. Okay. And then, what we got and then lastly, this is, uh, this is a fabulous bed. This did not come from McClatchy, but this was made from Mark Hopkins' house in San Francisco. It's on the top of Knob Hill where the Hopkins Hotel now oh, stands. Oh, yeah. I love that place. It was the most expensive house in the 19th century. He was one of the richest people. When he passed away, his widow left it to her son. Son donated it to Stanford University. The contents, what was left from the fire, because oh. it was destroyed in 1906. Uh, but before they sold it in 1942, the president of Stanford University picked some select items. This is one of those items. And this is made by Patien Stimus, New York. It documents this whole connection of this firm and this commission, which only works for uh, art history nerds like me, but <laughs> it's an important discovery. Yeah, you have some really cool stuff in here. And then all those baskets are beautiful, and those are very in style right now, Court, right? You see those yeah. everywhere. Talk about those. Yeah, so this is all just Northern California, some Southwest uh, baskets. Um, none of them are major. They're all in the 500 to 1,000 range, roughly. That's all. 500 That's to 1,000 per basket. Per basket. <laughs> That's all. I love it when we come to these places. Okay, coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, guys, uh, I want to show you this here is the program for uh, what they're doing here at Witherells. And this front cover has a lot of significance, so we're going to show you what that is tied to here uh, in this room in the 10 o'clock hour today because, you know, we're on at 10 o'clock now, too. We got time today. Hey, uh, Lori, my wife. <laughs> we got all the time. All the time. Lori, my wife just texted me and said she's ready for an upgrade, too, so thanks for that. <laughs> Start the movement. Well, you sister. know where to get it. You know where yeah. to get it. Brian, when can people come look at this stuff? Because John has his eye on that ring. <laughs> so we need to know when you can come check it out. Anybody wants to make an appointment with us, just call the office or go to our website, which is witherells.com. Oh, look how easy that is, John. So easy. That's easy. a good care Fantastic. Yeah. So easy. She's right. I do have my eye on it, and it's free to look. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lori. <laughs>